What's up guys, Erroneous here with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a showcase on the common and uncommon only account. Yeah, so I've been free to play, commons and uncommons only. If you've been following the grind that I've been doing on this, this is going to be episode number 14. Yeah, episode 14, and we are on day, I believe 41 or 42. So we're on day 41 right now, and of course the Ronda Chase, this is pretty cool because I'm going to be getting Savage Gear. These two pieces of Savage Gear that I got that are five star epic, they actually didn't come out very good, but still going to be beneficial on the account because I don't have that much five star gear to begin with because of how early game I am. Getting this six star Savage Gear though, I really hope I do well and pull some really good Savage Gear here, but just having that gear is going to be very beneficial on the account. All right, yep. another thing is I was able to open up the Altar of Souls because I just hit level 42 today. And the issue with the Altar of Souls is you can't awaken commons and uncommons. So that kind of stinks. I wish you could awaken epic, or sorry, you can awaken epics, but you can't awaken commons and uncommons. You can also awaken rares. Now, I also wish that for the Guardian Vault, I wish they threw in commons and uncommons here too. That's just me. I mean, if you can empower everybody else in the game, why can't you empower commons and uncommons? It's not like they're insanely powerful or overpowered in any means. The only person who's really powerful probably is going to be three people. Armager, Sniper, and Shield Guard. Other than that, other champions on commons and uncommons aren't ridiculously overpowered by any means. Maybe... Maybe the guy that's a barbarian, I guess he hits hard, but again, he doesn't hit hard enough to justify. Outrider, I think it's this guy that hits super hard when he attacks all enemies. He also hits super hard as well, so four champions for commons or uncommons. But again, I still don't think it justifies a reason why we shouldn't have the faction guardians to be able to boost and empower commons and uncommons. I really think they should do it. I think it would be really fun. It's more so for those people who want to actually just have fun with the game instead of having it be a very regulated schedule. And I feel like there are times where this game feels almost robotic, but I like to just have fun with the game. And that's why I'm doing the commons and uncommons account, because it's fun challenge for me. That being said, Altar of Souls, Guardian Ring pretty much mean nothing for this account, which really stinks because I would have loved to utilize these. Mortal Soul Stones, again, absolutely pointless for me to pull them. There's literally no point for me to pull these at all. There's no point to put in a wish list. So, yeah, that kind of stinks. Pointless for this account. I did end up getting three Ancient Shards today, and that is because I've been grinding hard on campaign. So, as you know, I completed hard campaign, and now I'm working on Brutal. So, I've already pushed pretty far up in Brutal. I'm on 10-1, so, and I'm still utilizing the same team I have here, Shield Guard and Sniper, so I would really like to push all the way through to Brimstone's Path. Um, I do need to get some more Lifesteal gear, so I'll probably farm for some 5-star boots with speed, 4 and 5-star boots for speed, Lifesteal, and then I'll probably farm a little bit of the Deadlands for this Destroy gear because I want five star speed boots from here as well. And then eventually when I get further and further, I wouldn't mind getting the counter attack gear, six stars or five star speed boots as well. But as I push on and progress, when I get into nightmare, this is where all the six star speed gear is gonna come along. I highly, highly recommend once you get to nightmare, if you're looking to get speed boots, you should be farming, the fastest way to get speed boots that is, is gonna be farming six, six in Palace of Arabia. It's not going to be from Farming Dragon. Now, you can get legendary speed boots from Farming Dragon, but if you just want 6-star speed boots and you need them quickly, then Farming Nightmare 6-6 six, six is going to be your best bet. All right, and you do get quite a few, to be honest with you. Now, I, I will say you do have to spend a lot of energy, but still. Anyways, back to the campaign. I did get the three Ancient Shards because of completing a certain amount of stars here. So I'm still pushing. I get 1 million silver next, which is nice, or sorry, I get 300k silver next, so that's going to be pretty sweet. And then, let's see, for Arena, I've been progressing fairly well. I am on silver 2 right now, so let me do a refresh. 
I mean, there's some teams that I'm sniping. And then now I can actually take out these rank 5 teams. I also upgraded a new champion to rank 5, which is Ritualist. As you know, I think it was in my last video, I upgraded Crusader to rank 5. So now I have three level 50s and a level 60 champ. And Ritualist is good because she does have the decreased defense on the A2. It, it is on a three turn cooldown, but I have to get more Ritualist to book it out. to get a three turn cooldown. So I just got to pull more mysteries for that. And then of course Crusader, he actually does a pretty good job. I do need to get some more Crusaders to get this down to a two turn cooldown. And then that's just more damage. Actually, I kind of want to see, is there any Crusaders that I pulled? Yes, I do have one here. And here's the books that I have. I have used quite a few books though on my common, uh, uncommon champions, I will say. I've been using a lot of the rare books. I haven't really, I did, I think I used one or two of the epic books too, but I haven't utilized any legendary books on my champions. So yeah, so the, I have been utilizing these books. I haven't just been saving them all up because honestly, even though I'm pulling mystery shards, doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get the champions that I want or need to book up their skills. So his skills are almost done. Once I get them done, it's like going to be a two turn cooldown on that ally attack, which is super beneficial. Uh, let me go ahead. We don't really have a two times, 10 times going on, whatever. But I'm just going to go ahead and pop these shards for you. Just get it out of the way. Hoping to get an epic or two, but if not, no big deal. Getting rares is fine too. I, I do need food because I'm trying to create another four star and five star champion. That'd be nice. So three rares, it's okay. No, no big deal. So I'm going to make sure I work on them in the campaign, get their levels up. Uh, another thing that came up too is Doom Tower. So Doom Tower, I was able to complete stage one or floor one. This is the team that I utilized, took 33 turns, and maybe, I don't know if I can beat floor two. I think that's a two star chicken, maybe a three star chicken, which is very, very helpful on this account if I can beat it. Let's see if I can beat this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat it, but we'll try it out either way. We're negative affinity, so we're probably gonna lose. Uh, let's try to, oh nice, we landed that, which is nice. Let's go after this Chancellor Yasmin. And let's do heavy hitting ability. Okay. These guys hit hard, so yeah, that's why we lose. Plus, of course, you got Manaya healing up. Oof. Oh, man. Yeah, we're definitely getting smacked. So we can beat stage one. I guess that's better than nothing. Stage one gave me 100 energy, which is very helpful. So I got to utilize that energy. I've been kind of just farming dragon and ice golem. And another thing is I'm looking forward to getting more Relentless gear because I farmed a lot of Ice Golem. So I'm going to be getting more six star Relentless gear. <laughs> I am just stacking up. It was me versus Diesel. And uh, sorry, Diesel, I guess I came up top and I only farmed for two days straight. Uh, I didn't use like RSL help or anything. I, I just farmed uh, throughout the day yesterday on the weekend and on Saturday as well. So. Yeah, 23 more minutes and then we get some six star relentless gear. So that's going to be helpful. And then we got the classic arena tournament. Check it out. Here's some more relentless gear, except five star. <laughs> I am stacking up relentless gear on this account. I hope I get good relentless gear, but check it out. Arena. It is so easy early game to win all of these tournaments. Like if you play it consistently, the game, you can win tournaments left and right like it's nothing. But if you don't play consistently and you say you just play every other day or every few days, then yeah, you're never going to win a tournament. Um, and it gets harder and harder as you progress in the game, I will say. And I've lost quite a few tournaments, but again, you got to push hard in the beginning of the game so you can get all the best gear possible as you get to late game, end game. It becomes very difficult to win tournaments like you used to be able to. On my end game or late to end game free to play account, my main account, it's challenging for me to win tournaments and I have to go for the Ice Golem tournament because nobody really pushes on the Ice Golem tournament. So this is the best time to be farming for Relentless Gear, Ice Golem, Classic Arena, and then Fire Knight if you could do it too. But of course it really depends on 
your champions, your gear, how fast you can farm it, things like that. Whereas not many people at my stage, my level, can farm Fire Knight very well. Now because I was focusing on Arena and Ice Golem, I don't know if I'm going to get first, second, or third place or not. I feel like I could get top 5 here, but I don't know for sure. Because I would at least get 4 uh, 5 star Relentless pieces that are rare, and an Ancient Shard, which is really nice. These are good rewards. But mainly, I really like to get the silver here and then the gems. That's going to be very beneficial for anybody's account. This book means nothing to me, honestly, unless I wanted to throw it into a common, uh, uncommon champion, which it's not even worth it, but um, it's honestly a waste. Plus, I think that when you're in Clan vs. Clan and you throw a legendary or an epic book into a lower rank champion, you actually get less points, so it's not worth it, especially during Clan vs. Clan. Another thing to note is that don't pick up your Ronda Rousey um, until the Clan vs. Clan starts, okay? So if you're coming up to your reset for the day, into the next day, um, just you might as well just play up until the reset's about to happen, shut off, wind down, pick it up once the Clan vs. Clan begins. That's my suggestion. If not, then... You cannot open this once you open this or sorry once you open the Ronda chase you've collected her so if you just stay logged in the entire time until clan vs clan that's fine but you can't go in here and click on this or else it's gonna be a collected champion before the clan vs clan starts so keep that in mind um, what else have I been doing not too much else I'll go ahead and show you the champions I have in my tavern I've been oh I have been farming a lot of arena but not too crazy so here's the champions I have right now. I do have three rank fives and I'm working on more rank fives and I'm trying to get one more rank six. And the next person that I'm going to bring to rank six is definitely going to be shield guard. And then after that, I'm going to bring up crusader and then I'm going to bring up ritualist. And then I want to get outlaw monk to rank five as well and brute to rank five as well. Um, of course, armager, I definitely want to bring up to rank five too. And Satyr, because Satyr is going to be for Fire Knight because he has the quad hit on the A2. And I have been building a secondary Satyr, so I got him up to level 30. And I want to get him also to rank 4 or 5 because that's going to help me tremendously in dungeon for Fire Knight. Let's showcase to you where my dungeons are right now. So Minotaurs, I can get to level 10. I think I could push a level uh, stage 11 as well. I just haven't done it yet. Ice Golem, I can only do to 10. Stage 11 is very difficult because of affinity. I do have a lot of blue champions, and I have one green champion, but it's only shield guard. The issue is, I have to get through the waves too, because the waves are also going to be force affinity. So we got to be careful with that. So right now I can only do stage 10. For spiders, spiders are very difficult. I just was able to complete stage 8, so now I can work on getting banners. So that's super huge, so I need to farm more spider stage 8 and then dragon's layer I can farm stage 11 pretty quickly stage 12 I am dying on stage 12 so stage 11 is where I'm at right now and then of course fire knight I'm farming stage 8 just fine stage 9 is too hard because of the affinity so I need to work on creating another satyr uh, to be able to get the shield down and then keep the shield down as well because satyr on his a2 also has a decreased turn meter ability for every hit so that's pretty insane so that's kind of where i'm at there and then of course we have these dungeons too i got this one to level eight i can definitely push further than that i just haven't done it and then arcane keep i can do stage 12 just fine stage 13 i am dying very often so i'm gonna have to try to push stage 13 a little bit more but we're getting there we're getting there and then of course iron twins is totally not worth it on my account as well because it's only mortal soul coins and essences they're not going to be able to upgrade my commons and uncommons, so that's pointless to even go after. But the new dungeon that's coming out, Necropolis Dungeon, the, I forget the guy's name, Necropolis something of the Sandstorm, whatever. His name's something weird, but basically he will be very beneficial for the account because he's going to work, be able to work on artifacts for me. So I can, it would be very important for me to farm that so my champion's artifacts get stronger. 
So I really truly, I know that it's an end game content, this new boss coming out, but it's also super great for accounts like mine where I need every bit of help I can get. Wherever I can progress and empower my champions, I need it because these are very weak champions. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.